uh hey you guys welcome back to my channel hope you guys are having a great day today so yesterday i uploaded a video and that video was titled um this is why i don't shop at z gallery i think there was just a little bit of confusion because some of you for some reason was expecting to see z gallery but the title said this is why i don't shop at z gallery because i was giving you guys another look or insight into some other stores now the stores that you guys saw in that particular video is at Amerimart. in order for you to go in there to buy and shop you have to have a pass terry barry and there's another young lady i believe both of those people are designers that follow me hopefully they watch this video they can probably leave a comment for you guys and let you know i'm not 100 percent sure only because i do have my pass so I don't know like i've never gone in there i would say like as a civilian so i wouldn't know the process number two and i already know the four or five people who commented i doubt that they were black i'm just not gonna let y'all talk about nobody like y'all crazy like that's just not gonna happen here okay so a few people had a problem and you had to really be ear hustling to even hear this because it was so brief patty carpenter made a statement she said that you know us as african-american people are a little bit more prone to using color than other races or other people whatever and i'm just kind of doing this verbatim i don't know exactly what she said because i wasn't ear hustling to be negative i was just like let her do her speech so i can take in when to take in and stuff like that so a few people had an issue with that and thought what she was saying was biased or racist or whatever the case may be and you know sometimes here on youtube y'all have to do just a, a little bit of research just just a little bit so patty is a global trend ambassador she is an interior designer and she's pretty much from what she said i believe she's been in the industry for about 30 years so she's seen trends come and go so her main job is to locate color emerging color in the industry to give you just a little brief summary i'm sorry my memory card was full so i take it out but i know exactly where i was at so her clientele includes Patone. If you guys are unfamiliar with what Patone is, they select two colors, I believe, annually to kind of set the trend on what colors you're going to be seeing in design. She is one of the people behind that. Crate and Barrow, Yankee Candles, Bloomingdale, Neiman Marcus. She is the person that when you walk in and you see all these colors and all this bright and muted and all these tones and... She's responsible for that. One of the people responsible for that. Her main job is color. <laughs> That's what she does for a living and has been doing for 20 plus years like that's just what she does so when she makes a statement that says which i feel like she's more than qualified to make that we as black people tend to use more color than other races i'm gonna say oh, okay i can see it because she actually has the time the history and she's a walking example of exactly what she just said I'm so confused to why that would upset anyone that she would say something like that. Now, if she just decided to walk into home goods and say, oh, black people just did this, then I'd be like, oh, okay, you know, you can say whatever you want to say, whatever. But she's 30 years strong in the industry. She's travel. She's uh, an ambassador for the trade in France. In, in the future, don't always be so quick to think everything that somebody says is wrong or everything that somebody says is racist. Just do a little bit of research. Now, I'm sure her statement could have been very personal, you know, from what she's seen. And your comment could have been very personal from what you have seen. At this point, I will be talking to the brick wall because people aren't even open to understanding what cultural procreation is. And let me just make this very, very clear. For the past three and a half, four years, viewers, subscribers, passerbyers, whatever, have pretty much said every and anything to me under the sun. And I've heard it all. And some of y'all have even gone as far as to email me some of your grievances. And they've been very disrespectful. Don't tell people that they shouldn't have an opinion when some of y'all have been so opinionated. But then the minute someone says something that you don't agree with it. Number two, 
this is my channel so yes i can block you and yes i can delete your comment it's my prerogative I put people on my channel and I feature people because I respect them as a designer, as a contractor, as whatever. So I'm opening them I'm opening them up to scrutiny. But if you want to go somewhere else and you want to write it down somewhere, you want to do whatever, that's your business. But when you leave the comment onto my page, I don't tolerate disrespect, you will be blocked and I will delete your comment and I can do that because it's my page. You know, I again titled the video, this is why I don't shop at Z Gallery. Now as a friend, if we're going to Z Gallery and we're shopping or whatever, I'll be there with you. I'll even tell you, girl, it's cute. You know, whatever your budget is, that's your business. You're not paying me, so I don't have any reason to judge how you shop or what you buy or how you want to buy any of that. But as a client, I'm not going to go into Z Gallery with you and I'm not going to okay a Z Gallery buy until I know exactly what it is that you bought. Sorry you guys, my camera died so I had to let it charge and then come back. I don't even know where I was at because I've already kind of went to the store, came back or whatever the case may be. If someone is interested in potentially hiring me, I do want you to know what you're gonna be getting, period. What, it's been three and a half years of me working on this house, right? And in that three and a half years, I've had people come to me and, hey, can you do this? Can you do that? And I was just like, no, 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 no. Not because I felt like I couldn't do it, but I feel like I was in the research part of my life. I wanted to research the Sumbrella. I wanted to research the Krypton. I wanted to call the companies and reps and really get information that I needed to obtain so that way I can be knowledgeable in what I was talking about. Um, I wanted to research framing. I wanted to research the cushion, the 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 fill. And I've been saying this for almost a year and I still haven't done it. And I really do. And I'll probably do it right after this video to show you how the insert in one of these cushions look like <laughs> versus what one of these insert looks like with an Ashley furniture. Like what you're getting for when you're paying for these things. Like I'm just not talking um right here what you guys are seeing is a goose down fill on the top and also the bottom and even the firmness of this mattress here which is barely kind of covering is something that you would find in a mattress and not your standard foam you know so i i i couldn't see myself getting a client and only giving them excuse me, half-assed information. So I'm not really understanding the disconnect that you'd go into Louis, you'd go into Gucci, you'd go into Balenciaga, and you would buy these flip-flops, the bags, this, the tote, da -da 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 -da, and you stand in that, but then the minute, for me I feel, I open my mouth and I say, oh, I don't like Z Gallery, and I'm not gonna shop at Restoration, or I'm not gonna shop here, I'm not gonna do this, then it's like daggers and pitchforks are kind of out. And it's just like that whole mentality of I'm going to travel well and I'm going to look well and all this stuff. But then when it comes to my house, let me just put the bare minimum. I'm okay with that lifestyle. But except mine's also like I personally feel like I just want to be one and done and that's it i feel like it would be a disservice to my client for me to go into these stores for me to see what i'm seeing for me to experience what i'm experiencing for me to touch what i'm touching for me to know the information that i know and for me not to even share it so again i say these videos aren't for the masses they are for the handful of people that email me and say to me, hey Nadia, I'm really interested in your services. Can you let me know what I need to start? It's because of the opportunities, the clients, and just the sheer love that I have for what I'm doing that has kept me on YouTube. I promise you, I promise you. The money is cool. You know, again, I said this in my previous video, it could be better. I put in a lot 
a lot of work a lot of work and i feel like it's okay it could be better but again what i'm doing isn't going to be for the masses and i understand it and i get it and again if you don't agree with me that's perfectly fine but please if you're disrespectful or you come out the way or if i feature someone and you feel like you want to say something and i feel like it's disrespectful yes by all means i will block you and i will delete the comment and i don't even block i always delete the comment then when you come back then i'm like okay well let me help ease you on down the way every single store has something that is just not great and for me personally i feel like when it comes to upholstery you should probably check out upholstery and not go to these little again this is not for you or for the masses this is for people who are interested in possibly working on their home themselves and may not be able to afford hiring someone i'm letting them have that information check out an upholstery store tell them you want fabric that is going to be easy to clean spill proof kid proof I'm all about having quality furniture that looks great and it's wearable um, in terms of wear and tear and most importantly is going to be kid friendly, dog friendly, people friendly. So yes, my home may look as though it's like, ooh, don't touch me, ooh, don't look at me. But trust and believe I can do a whole lot on this furniture that is why it took so long to get the house together okay so anyway i will be done now i'm gonna go do something with myself y'all have a really good day